where the fuck do I begin on how butt-puckeringly bad VGX 2013 was? It, it used to be the VGAs, but then they were like, let's rebrand this and make it better! And you somehow rebranded this one into the worst version of the VGAs in its history. So, way to go on that, Spike! So Spike TV decided that they were going to go and take their video game award show and then post this shit online instead because with all their quality top tier programming, they just want to go and shoehorn it onto the internet for live streaming instead. It's a, like a simulcast on both TV and on there. Ha! <laughs> that didn't work too well, did it? Fucking idiots. So... And, and I want to get one thing off my chest here. I have a thing against a lot of award shows because nine times out of ten, I feel that with like the Grammys and the Emmys and the Oscars and shit like that, and even this, I feel like the, most award shows are never for the fans of said things. Like whether it's music, TV, games, what the fuck ever. I always feel like it's more for the people that produced and developed it so that they can go in front of a mirror and they can jack themselves off and then everybody can applaud their efforts and be like, that was good distance right there. That man definitely deserves a medal or three or just this really gaudy fucking thing they're gonna put on a shelf and eventually take the Pawn Stars when their career has died. But it feels like it's for that, and then the shareholders will be like, you know, I invested a lot of money into this, so I want to feel good about my investment, or else I'm pulling my money out and taking it somewhere else. So then it's about them getting fucking jacked off. So really, it just feels like a big spunk fest to me, and then at the end of the day, it's just fans going, you know, a lot of stuff that I like doesn't seem to matter at all for some reason, even though I'm kind of watching something that's supposed to be in celebration of them. Huh. Oh, fuck me running. And with this, this was just about watching an entire crew of people not know their ass from a hole in the ground on a fucking golf course. It was, it was actually kind of amazing to a certain degree that you could sit back and watch the majesty of nothing but unadulterated failure <laughs> because nobody seemed to know what they were doing like it, it, it was it was like they just got shoved onto a set and they weren't told what the hell was happening they're like oh uh, and it, it seemed like everybody was just social retards they were like i don't even how how do i speak good speak good word word now word now i i do word now oh, I, I, uh, english it just it was so fucking bad like Everybody's focused on jo jo uh, Joel McHale. I'm fucking up his word. Uh, everybody's focused on him because he was host, so he was there throughout the entire three hours of this. And it seemed like all he wanted to do was publicly berate and fucking shit on everything that this had to offer. Like, if, if there was a guest who was going to come on, he was just going to sit there and be like, You're a fucking imbecile. You're an asshole. Please eat shit. And the thing is, he does this in addition to having, like, dry, sarcastic humor, so it actually comes off as he sincerely hates you. Which I've, I've seen the dude on TV quite a few times. I, I found him quite humorous when I did see him. On here, it was hard to judge because it didn't seem like... That kind of humor works if everybody is in with the joke, so then it can bounce back and forth, but it seemed like he was doing nothing but pissing people off. You know, there, there are no bullet points to follow when there was a teleprompter. It seemed like nobody was fucking reading or just ignoring it outright. It was, it was fucking amazing. And it seemed like not only does the dude not know anything about gaming, but has no interest in gaming and just want to use it as the butt of any joke that he was capable of fucking slinging mud at. It was, fuck, man. I mean, between Joel and the fucking Loiter Squad, I was like... Holy shit, why is this, why is this so bad? So, stop, stop, stop it, that. Just please, but it, it, it didn't. It, it just, it, it kind of blew my mind. Nintendo had a big fucking announcement there that a lot of people were pissed off about because they were like, oh man, big announcement. I mean, you got the N Nintendo of America president, Reggie fils showing up because he needs to go and make this announcement. And it was... Cranky Kong is a playable character. That is some shit you say for Nintendo Direct, not for a fucking award show as a big announcement. And I don't give a fuck if you're happy about it. We're talking about what is going to be considered big news in just a fucking game feature. Two completely different things. 
people were expecting, oh man, maybe it's going to be like a new Nintendo Wii U game. <gasps> maybe it's going to be a new 3DS game, a resurrection of a past franchise, a new IP altogether. Maybe they're going to be teaming up for some kind of side project with another company. <laughs> Alpha Mega Sin would really like it if it was F-Zero. He's not going to be happy with this announcement. And I love Donkey Kong, by the way. I even love Cranky Kong. But as big announcements go, no. That's not a big fucking announcement. That shit was pointless as fuck and fell flat. Flatline. Sorry. So, when there was good things going on, it all got overshadowed. Like, this was an award show that did focus on the awards. That seemed like it was one-eighth of the entire equation of this award show. Out of the entire three hours of this, throughout that entire duration, it seemed like they were, they said, okay, the nominees are, and the winner, okay, next! And they just jump right into the next segment of the next fucking camera being changed over to somebody who didn't know what the fuck they were saying with their thumb right up their ass going, <laughs> I, eh. it just, it, it was so fucking weird. I've, I've never seen that much, in Viacom, is going around everywhere, slam dunking their fucking authority down on people that have been uploading it. So you'll see a lot of times that if somebody's posted a link to one of the videos and stuff, especially like the top 15 cringeworthy moments, oh, here's all the bad shit from this, all the epic failure from VGX. They're just like, no, take that shit down, take that shit down, take that shit down, take that shit down. So is, th is this their way uh, of trying to go and control the chaos? Because if that's the case, it... That, that's just fucking stupid as shit. If anything, it should have been controlled from the get-go. You know, from from the production on up. It just, oh man, I, I don't I don't understand it. I mean, I, I'm glad that they were trying to go and listen a bit more to gamers, but from the quality of the show, from how haphazardly everybody was just kind of strolling through it with a dumbfounded fucking expression, it seemed like you didn't care at all. That's what I took away from it. I can make jokes at the expense of this and every individual that was associated with this and in charge of it for hours on end and not run out of material. But ultimately, at the end of the day, is as gamers, not only did we feel like, you know, that you're taking a shit on us, but everything that we like, and it, it didn't feel genuine at all. It just, it, it felt like a big middle finger, like, here, fuck you. You were worth this fucking much effort. Gaming is worth this much fucking effort. And, you know, maybe I'm thinking a little bit too much into that. Maybe. Maybe I am. And again, maybe I'm not. Maybe I actually have the right idea. But you're also talking to somebody who's relatively jaded about award shows, but I'm still open-minded to the prospect of there being a big award show for gaming, but I think that it should be something that gamers go and vote on, not a fucking little panel of judges that get to go and dictate what's going to be considered and what's going to be the winner. I don't believe in something like that because you're the minority and we're the fucking majority. We're the ones that run the fucking industry, not you little fucking class of dickheads. Sorry, that's not how it works, clowns. But... What the fuck do I know? I'm one asshole who makes videos from his fucking game room at his house. That's all that I am. Nobody fucking special. You know, and, and when when they were showing off stuff, like when, when they had like big uh, showcases of, you know, oh, this is going to be an epic unveiling, and we're going to show gameplay footage of this stuff. It was extremely kick-ass, but again, it seemed like everything took center stage and the awards did not. And... I just, I, I don't fucking understand what direction that they want to go with this. I really don't. <sighs> I mean, it sucks whenever it's something that feels like, you know, it's definitely very corporate, you know, and everything just, it, it seems like, you know, they have a fucking gun to their head and they're forced to say and think and feel whatever it is that they're expressing and, and, and saying on camera, but... This felt like a bunch of people without a fucking clue just throwing something together that was supposed to be deemed as professional but came off as a fucking joke, a mess, and, well, as many people have put, bluntly, a train wreck. I felt bad for, like, Tim Schafer. I, I, I was glad to see Matson and Trey Parker. Uh, PewDiePie apparently pissed off a fucking ton of people with his Let's Play, including the people that developed the game. <laughs> 
Uh, there was just, so, like, all the guests that came on looked like they wanted to leave immediately. I'm kind of wondering if Joel McHale's uh, agent right now is in front of a firing squad. I'm just, I'm, I'm really kind of curious if, if this is going to live on to have uh, a next year of a VGX 2014. And if there is, I can only safely assume that you can only go up from here, <laughs> honestly. And, and, and if anything, take every single fucking video that you're seeing on the internet right now all the different posts about it and try to take something away from that listen to what everybody is saying about this you'll realize how you fucked up if you're really listening to gamers and you're trying to go and appease them and the gaming industry in general then maybe just maybe by listening to this and reading all the criticism that it's getting take it to heart and work with it if you want to see a next year show but I can be honest, there's going to be a ton of people that won't give a fuck either way, even if it is a great award show. Because they just have no interest in it, because they're too busy with their controller in their hand, just enjoying gaming as it is, for what it is. And that's awesome. So, BGX, it's, it's well over. I made this because everybody wanted to know what the fuck I thought of it. And I thought exactly what everybody else thought. I thought it was a fucking joke. And it was pathetic, and it it really just made you uncomfortable and uneasy. And I bet it would have been ten times worse if any of us showed up there, because, yeah, that's, that's exactly what they were aiming for, apparently. But, oh well. Anyway, how do you all feel about VGX 2013? I know pl quite a few people have made videos about it. Uh, let's see, I saw Blockbuster Critic's video about it. I saw Angry Joe's video about it. I've read so many fucking posts talking about VGX, it's kind of ridiculous. I've had multiple conversations uh, with people about it. So I had to at least say something about it because Jesus fuck my eye Christ. <sighs> It'll live on in infamy and it's going to spawn an endless sea of memes, I assure you 100%. So there you go. This is Alpha Omega Sin as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers. Game the fuck on. And listen to Asheron. Because metal is fucking awesome.